the diggers are coming. Apparently, we need more houses. Rip through your lush green core. As always, the talk is of growth to keep us at prosperity's door. I hear the word sustainable being hijacked by those in the know to put on glossy brochures and wrap this project up in a bow. Promises of a country park with nature at its heart, a wildlife sanctuary we are sold to soften this poison dart. But I, like many, have walked through your fields and your woods with children scrambling at rocks and winter sledging with coats and hoods. I watched the fishermen relax by the ponds and the dog walkers smile at the views. I watched children jump over badger holes and families grateful for a space to amuse. I listen to the sound of birds, delight in the hunt for tadpoles and newts, teach my kids in the playground of nature, not a sterile park that is mute. These arbitrary house-building targets have caused clever humans to do silly things, like rip up a candidate wildlife site, raising a finger of hope to the wind. Have we, in our culture of targets, lost the things that really do count, ceded power to vested interests? backed riders that will not dismount. Can we not imperfectly start to resist what is a done deal, to reclaim our collective voice and protect the things we know to be real?